<laughs> it's almost morning. The sun is going to stop coming up any minute. I hope he's a nice sweet monster. Oh, he's coming. Good morning, master. How was your sleep? Hey, why are you scared? Hmm, where did you run to? Master, why do you have a spray bottle? Hey! Don't spray water on my face. I'm sorry. Did I do something bad? I tried to stay still all night, but this stupid tree is very itchy. What am I doing here? What a silly question, Master. I'm your present. No. I'm not wearing a costume. The cat ears on the tail? They're all real. If you don't believe me, see for yourself. Yeah. Master, please be more gentle. Don't pull him all of a sudden. It doesn't feel nice when you do that. Are you surprised? Well, I'm glad that I left you speechless. Oh! I came in through your chimney. Oh, you mean where I'm from? I'm from the North Pole. Sorry, let me start from the beginning. This time of the year, we are super busy making sure we have all the gifts and presents for everyone that's been nice. You might be surprised to know this. But elves aren't the only ones that work in the North Pole. Fox girls, cat girls, all kinds of fantasy creatures work there. No, we aren't slaves. There are other jobs available. But the pay and benefits are the best. And we have more flexible work schedules and mandatory breaks and vacation time. We're really well taken care of. But anyways, I was submitting my report to the big man himself when one of our elves dropped off a letter to him. I saw him read it with a disappointed look on his face. I asked him what was wrong. He said that he receives the same letter from the same person asking the same thing. But he couldn't give them what they wanted. When his back was turned, I reached into the trash can and read the letter. The letter was from you. In it, you said how good you've been all year and asked if Santa could send you a companion to spend the holidays with. After reading your story, I asked why we couldn't get you anyone and Santa said that he couldn't just ask someone to stay with a stranger, no matter how much they deserved it. So, after thinking about it, I volunteered to come live with you. Sana was a little surprised and tried to talk me out of it, but after a while, he agreed to let me be your present. So, I packed my things, got on the sled, and made the long journey here. And I've been sitting here since. Um, I cold? A little. I wish I had brought my blanket with me. Hey! Where are you going? It 
Is this for me? What is it? No, I've had chocolate before, just not in a liquid form like this. Let me have a taste. Oh my meow! This is so good! Thank you! I knew it. I know I made the right decision coming here. On the ride here, Santa was telling me a little bit about your story. He told me everything about how good you've been and how hard you've worked all year and about how much you've achieved. But despite all that, you had trouble finding a partner to keep you company. And how sad that made you feel. And the more I learned about you, the more my desire to be with you grew. So when we finally arrived at your house, I was so excited that I was ready to wake you up. But Santa reminded me that I had to let you sleep and asked that I wait patiently for you here. Don't worry, master. I promise to take care of myself. I don't need much to be happy. Just the basics like food, water, and someone to care for me as much as I care for them. Of course that means you, silly. I care about you a lot, and I hope we get to know each other more. Of course. As long as you'll have me. I know this isn't exactly what you're looking for. I'm sure you meant a human companion when you wrote that letter. But I promise you, I can be as caring as any other human girl. You love cat girls? <laughs> Yay! That makes me so happy. Wait, master, your cheeks are cold. Are you okay? Oh my, you must be so cold. Here, lay down on the couch. One second, let me get your blanket from your bedroom. There we are. Oh, it's so fluffy. And there. Happy? What am I doing? Warming you up, of course. Snuggling under a blanket is the best way to keep someone warm. Master? Is this okay? I'm not heavy, right? Good. I want to keep resting on top of you like this. Oh, Master looks so cute when he's flustered. Well, you better get used to it. I'll snuggle and pamper you as much as you need. I would love to cuddle with you like this every night. I want to make sure you never ever feel lonely. I'll be there for you whenever you need me. Oh! Master! You don't have to scratch my ears. I haven't done anything yet to earn your praise. I have? What did I do? I've made you happy? I don't understand. But if being close to you makes you happy, then I'll snuggle with you more often. Besides, mm, 
I like it when you scratch my ears like this. It's the lily. Do you want to sleep a little more like this before the sun comes up? Of course, master. I'll stay with you as long as you need me. I promise. Sleep well, master.